Welcome everyone, and today we're back in uh, God Old Good Old 4, and we're going to look at Auto Tiles. Alright, welcome everyone, and let's go ahead and create our, get our tiles set up and ready. So I have a tile map here, and I'm going to drag in my tile set. Whoops. Sorry, go to new tile set, open that up, and then we can drag it in. I'm going to hit yes, and I'm just going to zoom in here so we can take a good look. Now, if you want automated tiles, or auto tiles, so you can just completely build it out if you've seen RPG Maker, or if you've used that in the past, then you'll be familiar with uh, this concept. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use this set right here. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go over to the right hand side under terrain sets. I'm going to add a new element. And I'm going to open up the terrain section inside of that set. And I'm going to add a new element. I'm going to call this ground zero. And you can give it whatever color you want. Doesn't really affect anything. It just helps you quickly identify things. So with that selected, I can now Go here into my tile set, open up the paint properties, and make sure I have terrains selected. I can then select uh, terrain set zero, which is our first one here that we created. And inside of that terrain set zero here, we have ground zero as the name. So that's what we're going to select. Select ground zero. And now we're ready to make a set of tiles specifically for this terrain. Now you can do this if you want to just have a bunch of tiles in here and not have model tiled. You can definitely do that, just kind of organize things if you would like. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and select my center tile and I'm just going to make a cross. So you can see that color shows up here as we're drawing. So if you have uh, maybe a lot of greens like we have in here, you probably don't want to select a green for your color. All right, so I've went with a cross here to select my middle piece. I'm going to connect that and bring it out on both sides. And same with the top and bottom here. And then the corners, I'm just going to connect them. So I'm going to one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and one, two, three. All right, so now we have uh, essentially our auto tile is all set up and we just need to uh, use it. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the bottom of our screen and go to the tile map section so we can actually create our tile maps. And normally, you know, you go in, you might go like this and, be, and wondering, hey, it's not working. I'm just placing one single tile over and over. Well, the reason for that is because we then have to come into the terrain tab instead of the tiles tab. Then we can select, in this case, my ground is zero. I'm going to pick a tile. Oh, that is why my mistake. I still had my eraser selected. There we go. So I'm just going to pick a tile. And I'm going to hold shift and click so I can, I have a straight line. So if you've never done that before, this is how you do it. You hold shift and then you click and hold. And you can ensure that you can get yourself a straight line. And as you see, as I place this, my tiles are automatically changing uh, the way they need to. And you might end up with a situation, I don't know, maybe you come in like this, like so, and you decide, okay, that's your area, but you notice the sides and the corners are kind of messed up here. Well, what do you do? Well, you can easily just grab uh, your section here. This weird uh, thing that points in all directions. You can go click there and you see I'm just going to come along here. Bring it in. And that again might not be exactly what you look for. Maybe you wanted the shorter end. Well, we can just delete that and you see they automatically repair themselves the way that they should be. Again, I can come back in. And as you see, just continue extending along. Now that I have all my directions here, 
Now, keep in mind, we are using uh, corners and sides here. Inside of our set here, as you see in the right-hand side in the Inspector Under Terrain set, match corners and sides. You could just do match corners, or you could just do match sides. Obviously, you can see we're, all we're doing is getting corners out of this. Not uh, ideal. But maybe there's a situation where you might want it. And you see here, we're doing match sides, which is a lot closer to something that you may be looking for. You see, it does a pretty good job using this auto setup. And I'll just erase those two there on the bottom. Move that one. There we go. And there you have it. We have ourselves an easy way of doing our auto tiles. So you can either match sides, match the corners, or match corners and sides. It's up to you, my experience, sides and corners, or just sides, uh, work best, at least with the limited testing I've done here for creating auto tiles. But there you go. There's how you make them. Hopefully that helps. I'll see you guys in the next one. If you have any questions or something that you want to see, or have help with, leave a comment down below.